My name's Aaron Massey from MrFixItDIY.com, and today I'm over at a friend's house to give some new life to their old pergola. Their pergola is a little bit in disrepair, and they want to update it, make it a little more structurally sound, and provide some more shade. So that's what we're going to do today, so let's get started. The original pergola is a little bit underbuilt. They use 4x4 posts with some bigger beams up top, so it's a little bit top heavy. And rather than tearing it all down and starting from scratch, I'm gonna add additional legs to the existing structure and then kind of give it a lattice look up each leg. So it'll be more structurally sound. It'll carry the additional weight that I'm adding to the top and hopefully will keep it from swaying side to side so easily. In order to do that, we have to dig some holes to place some footings for our new posts. All right, so last night we got our footings poured and our brackets installed, and we've got our lumber order this morning, which means that we can start to set our new legs in place and tie everything together. We'll set the new legs in on our brackets, mount everything in, and uh, tie all the legs together. We'll give it a lot more structural support, and we've got a lot of work to do today, and we'll see how far we get. Convertible now. Yeah. Open concept pergola. <laughs> okay, so we got the new legs built and installed yesterday, so it's nice and strong. So today we're going to be working on adding the new rafters across the top and then cleaning up the old beams that we're saving. The new rafters are going to be spaced 16 inches on center across the top, and then later on I'll be going in and I'll be adding some additional shade slats in the other direction to give this thing some nice shade coverage. For the ends of the rafters, I made a quick jig to add a little different profile to the rafters, and then I'll match that on the repurposed beams up top later on. Well, we made some pretty good progress yesterday, and so today we'll get the shade slats installed and then get this thing ready for stain. They're calling for it to be 100 plus degrees, so I'm not super excited to be climbing around on top of it, but uh, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, so the majority of the construction for the structural work is finished. The last thing I have to do is uh, build the knee braces for the corners that are going to go up in the top, but I'm going to do that at my shop. And the way that I'm going to do that is to glue laminate some 2 by 8 pieces together, and then I'm going to add a little contour to the middle of the braces to make them a little bit more decorative, and then I'll cut the contour on the bandsaw and clean them up. To attach them to the pergola, I'm countersinking some holes and using four and a half inch timber lock screws, which give it a nice finished look. All right, so today is the day to finish this thing up, get it stained, and do some of the last touch up things on it. I wanna give a quick shout out to Trimaco for sending over the plastics, the protective floor shell, and the tapes we've used in this project. It has made things so much easier for us. This red poly tape is incredible for taping up plastics so I would highly recommend it. And I'll leave a link in the description down below for where you can check out all their products. So we're all finished staining it and there's only a few more things left to do. We're gonna get it finished up tonight and then this project will be done and I can't wait for you guys to check it out. That's it. 
that's it for this project. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun to transform this pergola and I know they're really happy with the results. So I'm really thankful for the opportunity. If you did like this video, please hit that like button and leave a comment down below and let me know. And as always, if you have any questions, you can leave those in the comments as well. And if you wanna check out any more of my DIY or home improvement related projects, you can always visit my website at mrfixitdiy.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.